<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm up here in the Front Range of Colorado. About We're about 11,000 feet up here um, in a spruce and aspen forest. Actually, I don't see any aspens around. We already passed those, but we're up above that, way up in the mountains here. And the reason we're out here, as you've seen from the thumbnail, we're out here looking for the King Bolete mushroom, otherwise known as Porcini mushrooms. Now, I'm not an expert, so I can't really give, I can't really recommend anybody go out and do this as well. But the King Bolete's pretty, they're pretty unmistakable when you see them. There's nothing else that really looks exactly like them, and we'll explain that a little bit more in detail um, in the video here. Um, there are other look-alikes, but, and some of those can make you sick. But the King Belit mushroom, that's what we're out here looking for today uh, with Ross from Outdoors Inspired. This is his another one of his secret spots. You've seen him in a couple other videos with the morel mushrooms and, and all that. So, uh, yeah, make sure you go check out his channel. He'll have a version of this video as well. Mosquitoes are already eating me alive. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, we're just starting to... You see it? Yep, that's the one. So that's, that's the second one. Now we're just starting out and we're walking up the hill right here. This is a porcini mushroom. Something's already ate it, but it's not picked. The other spot we were at, it was all picked out. So um, we'll go ahead and look at that. It just moves the dirt out of the way. What is that? Oh, that's um, the coral mushroom. That's, that's really... There's a coral mushroom coming up too. Oh, look at that. Those grow like little fingers, like a bunch of little... Is that edible? I don't think so. There is kinds that are edible. It's kind of cool. That's look at the size it, of the stems on those things. And that is a porcini. And usually what I do is just clean it up, peel it real thin like a potato, because a lot of that dirt's grown into the flesh. And you don't want to dirty, dirty up your bag and all the other mushrooms. So it's good just to clean them up real quick. If you find one that bruises blue, you don't want to eat it, from what I understand. Again, not an expert. So these ones here, you, do, you don't cut these mushrooms, you actually grab them by the base down here, and you just, listen. <laughs> the most satisfying sound. And yeah, there you go. Nice. You can see these are a polypore mushroom. Big fat stalk, amber cap, gets lighter around the edge, and right at the edge it's white. And that's a porcini mushroom, or the king balit. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Yeah, we just got onto the trail and we're already spotted a couple. I don't wanna get my hopes up, because you never know, this might be the only two we find, but hey, we didn't get skunked. And I am 100% happy with that right there. We've got even more mushrooms here, and then right over here on this stump I just looked over, and there's a little cluster of mushrooms. Let's go check those out. There's a stump and there's a little cluster of mushrooms here. I thought they were oysters at first. I kind of want to take one off just to see. Oh no, they're not. They're, they're attached by a bunch of individual stems down here. So I don't know what those ones are. They're a little sticky. Who knows? There's all kinds of random mushrooms around here. You found a huge one? Both. Well, I mean, we could still save the stem of this one at least. I don't that know. That one's still good, yeah. This one's still good. This one has been here and there's puffballs all over the place. This one's been damaged. It's just real old. It's definitely had time to spore out. Oh yeah, kick it over. Oh, it's, oh, See, that's wow. When, that's when there's dropping spores and it gets like that. Spores. Well, they've been out, up and out for a while then, I guess. That one's probably like a, yeah. He's been out for a couple weeks. More than a week. But there's puffballs all over here too. What? Want to get me picking this one? Yeah, yeah, pick this one here. There's probably more around. It's kind of, it's going to be buggy if it's a bunch of holes in it. I don't even know if I should pick it. It's definitely going to have worms in it. I think we'll just leave that. What do you... I think we'll leave that too. It's hey. always good to let them spore out. Yep, it just shows you we're a little bit late on that one actually. That's just like half of it. That, yeah, and that's only half the mushroom. Man. Lots of mountain flowers out here. You got purple ones, and I don't know the names of them. Red ones, but yeah, just a whole little field here. Okay, so we're still out here scouting around, and we came to Ross's like secret area where, he, where he's found like pounds of these mushrooms, 
And unfortunately, some pickers made it out here before we did. Um, so we're only finding small amounts. We found four porcinis total. Um, normally, Ross would have a bag full by now, like 10, 20 pounds of mushrooms. So what we're going to do now, we're going to scout around for a little while and look for a new spot. But before we do that, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to four brand new Major Credit Patreon supporters. We have David Walter. We have Ethan Aldridge. I'm remembering these names, by the way. Um, Ethan Aldridge, David Walter, um, Michael Scott Lang Langley. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Michael Scott Langley and Justin Woodski from Juneau, Alaska. You saw him from a previous video up there in Juneau. He was one of the one of us mountain bikers up there. So thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Um, let's keep going here. Maybe we can get some better luck in a unscouted place and uh, have a sodi pop or two. It's a different kind of bullet. There's like many different kinds of bullets. Like... Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I found. Oh wait, that one looks like a portini though. I don't know. Because that base is real. I didn't, I was, I called you over and kind of waited. Look at the base here. The base is pretty thick, man. It seems kind of soft for one though. Mm -hmm. No, that's, that's not a portini. I don't know, man. This one's questionable. Let's see if it bruises. Usually portinis are more, uh, Solid. Solid, yeah. Hmm. This one is more solid than this one, though. So what about edibility on these things? Uh, see, it's starting to turn. Oh, yeah. These are no good. I want to eat it. If they start to uh, stain like that, blue or whatever. Not worth risking it's, it. It's not worth risking it. Cool finds, though. They are a type of bull eat. Yeah, there's a couple different kinds. Not the ones we're after. Yeah. This one would be really mistakeable is because... The size of the that stem looks exactly how a bolete stem would look, but look, it's already starting to turn purple blue. Yeah, the bolets stay nice and white the whole time. I'm sure there's people watching this video that know more than us, so leave it in the comments what this is. Um, I know there's like pine bolets and there's other kinds, and you can see it's all staining already. An aspen bolete. Aspen bolete. Kind of look like that. We must have walked probably a mile. A good mile up into the middle of everywhere and we think it was everything was picked out and we get back to where the truck is truck is right there where we found the first two and I'm like let's check around here two minutes later or a minute later there's a porcini <laughs> it's really jammed down in there it's like a huge root man there look at that thing yeah more There's even more left in the ground. I, I couldn't get it. Bulk of the meat's in the in the stem. Yeah, picking them like this isn't bad. A lot of people claim that if you cut them, you have to cut them, otherwise it won't grow back. This is not the entire mushroom. I mean, this is the fruiting body of it, but the mushroom itself is the mycelium underground. Which is like, spreads out like... The whole mountainside. Yes. So This is just like picking an apple. When you pick an apple off a tree, it's not going to kill the rest of the tree. All right. I think that's important to mention in the video but yeah i'm gonna clean that thing up yeah. we'll throw it in the bag all right we're taking everything we're taking the cap we're gonna fill our hole back in well ross found the the curse of the channel the scourge of colorado <laughs> cores all right so we just got onto a spot of porcinis yeah i can see them from here all right so one two three four five right here there's actually two here ross three over here. all right you got three over there there's one right here just popping. This one's too small to pick, I think. There's two more right here. Oh, oh yeah, man. Those are like the perf those are like the number twos. I was telling tell you about like restaurants. This is the choice those size. Are, those are like the ideal size if you're gonna sell them to restaurants. Look at that, man. That's what we're looking for. We found a nice patch is what we found here. Yeah, we found a patch that somebody obviously missed. It's very satisfying to pluck them out of the ground and make a nice sound, so it'll be nice and quiet while he's picking it. All right. Yeah, these are fresh, no bugs at all. Ideal size. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was that was satisfying right there. That's about a pound of mushroom. At least a pound just in those little two. Yeah, man, they're dense. Nice. See any smaller you wouldn't want to pick, but it's got little bugs on it, but that's normal. Yeah. There's a couple more small ones, but we're gonna leave these. I'm gonna let these ones grow. Yeah. For somebody somebody else to but this is a keeper here. But that one's a keeper. Yeah, these these all right here are perfect. Yeah. These hawkwing mushrooms are just everywhere. And some of them are pretty monstrous too. But these things, I mean, they're they're big, man. The size of my hand is. These things are huge. So check this out, guys. Ray's eyewear made me a custom pair. It's got a little logo on it. How awesome is that right there? Thanks a lot, Jason, over at Ray's Eyewear for making these for me. If you guys are interested in Ray's Eyewear, there's a link in the description, 25% off. Um, they're really, really good. I've been wearing these constantly looking for mushrooms. I almost stepped on it. I don't know why I couldn't see it, but there's a nice porcini right here. Are you recording? Yeah. Got this nice hidden one behind a rock. Oh, it's big too. Oh, I got it. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's look nice. at the size of that. That's, that's cool. Wait right on. <clears throat> Perfect, man. That's a that's the ideal routine. Awesome, man. <laughs> that's great. Right on. guys well there you go man we found probably a good five pounds of porcinis here this one being the I mean that thing is just a handful of mushroom dude like a pound right there. oh easy yeah they're real dense they're yeah like, they're dense they're like I mean potatoes yeah when you hold them yeah it's like a big you can't really press it in but we're gonna take this back to the house we're gonna cook it up and I'll see you guys out there. Okay, we have the mushrooms set up from largest to smallest, and then down here we have a stem and a cap. They've been sitting in the fridge for about two days. That's not ideal, you wanna cook these and eat them pretty much right away. As you can see here, there's a bunch of worm holes in this stem. That doesn't mean it's not edible. That's pretty bad, actually. There's, there's a lot of worm holes in that one. I think I'm gonna to toss that out. This little one's perfect. So is this one. This one here is perfect as well. Yeah, it's a little yellow here, but that's okay. These are just fine to eat. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these up and we're gonna make an omelet. This little amount is in plenty for one omelet. I'm gonna save the rest for later and we'll cook these up. All right, so we're gonna do a three egg omelet. So we got three eggs, we got our porcini mushrooms and some butter. Now the way I do omelets, I'll take this uh, regular pan, put it on like, crank it full heat and put about that much butter in. Then I just take three eggs and crack them, put them right in here. point I'm gonna throw my mushrooms in too well this kind of turned into scrambled eggs I haven't done any cooking in a while let's throw some cheese in there with it just a little bit of cheese just a little bit it's just about done right there that's it all done all right there it is just added some salt some pepper that cheese is going to make it awesome too, but here we go. Yep. 
Awesome flavor mushroom. Thanks again, Ross, for bringing me out there to your spot for porcinis. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. Don't forget to check me out on social media. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.